during this show, he was a judge and um, he, he he offended unthick skinned. Is that a good word to use? <laughs> unthick skinned uh, people. And so we never saw him again. Ladies and gentlemen, Grandpa Slash is in the box. Making America <laughs> thick skinned again. I, I wrote a, I wrote a song about 15, 20 years ago, sitting in my driveway. I smoked a couple joints, and it was the weekend of Mother's Day. And a lot of people don't know me, but I never usually come out of character. So this is me as Michael coming out of character. This is not Grandpa Slush. I wrote this song for my mom because I wasn't speaking to my mom because of everything that I've gone through in my life. And sometimes it's almost better, even if it's a family member, to maybe cut the ties so that way, maybe those movies aren't always playing in your head. Dear Mom, there once was a time when I sat back and I reflected to my days as a child when I was alone and neglected. You see, I was subjected to insults as negativities were embedded. Time doesn't change shit, Ma, you still said it. You see, the cuts and the bruises from the beatings will heal. But the scars are those reminders of how you made me feel. I graduated. Should have been there and seen it. My birthday passed too, Mom. I know. You didn't mean it. You see, you were blind to the fact and couldn't accept that. I was emotionally unhappy. No talking, just yelling. Every answer was to smack me. Childhood errors that resulted in violence. And if I remember correctly, I saw her crack a smile once. You see, the slipper, the hanger, the black extension cord were all the tools of the trade that a single mother used when she was bored. Not a son, brother, husband, sister, mother, or wife. You should have thought of that shit before you gave me life. Things like shut up, son, and go to your room, and the fear of knowing hell was on its way soon. It was like a choreographed mutiny seen a million times before. TV's off, lights out, chain locks on the door. I curled up under my bed against the wall right there. My heart beat in unison as she creeped up the stairs. I'm cold, I'm shaking, I'm shivering, and I'm hoping that for this one time she'll just go to bed. But my bedroom door opens. And through watery eyes, all I could see was her feet. And my mind would fill with questions I'll be forced to answer next week from the teachers at school as I change for class. How the fuck do I explain these bruises on my back? Would I fell off my bike in another immature stunt? Expect the cops to believe that happens ten times a month? I'm a kid, Mom. And I didn't deserve this. And that was 40 years ago, but it still resurfaces. Wow. <clears throat> you know, when I first heard that, ladies and gentlemen, I was like, I was in tears, you know, because <clears throat> not because, you know, it was, it was spoken, it was said, it was just, you know, you think about, you know, some of the, the things that you went through um, in your life as a kid. And, you know, and you think about like, damn, where was you at graduation? Where was you in my birthday? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you just start to, you know, like to think about and reflect on your life and, you know, just everything. So, um, so I'm, I'm first and foremost, Slush, thank you so much. Even though we can, uh, even though we got beyond it and we became successful and we became, um, but it let us it let us know to never forget of what happened and why we're here and and what made us the person that we are today